Hello my babies! Welcome back to another video folks. In this video today, we are going to discuss why men should train legs. If you guys are new here, I have been doing a video series about why women should train upper body and I had a couple requests to make a video about why men should train lower body. Because as most of us know, women typically tend to avoid upper body and men typically tend to avoid lower body. So in this video today, we are going to discuss the benefits of training legs, go over the anatomy of the legs. You're going to get a little anatomy lesson, so I hope you guys are prepared for that and I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my personal favorite leg exercises so it's gonna be a fun time and make sure you stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss the bonus tip we always have a bonus tip at the end and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined the full squad let's get into it shall we all right folks so let's start this video off with the benefits of training legs the first benefit is that you will build more muscle and I know you fellas out there want to build more muscle the reason being is that compound movements such as squats deadlifts and hip thrusts use larger muscle groups which help elevate your testosterone levels testosterone as we all pretty much know i'm sure like most people know this but just in case you don't know testosterone is the hormone that builds muscles it is naturally produced in your body but like i said it is elevated when you train legs the second benefit of training legs is that you won't look like an upside down triangle or a Dorito, or a chicken. Do I need to explain further? I don't think I do. The third benefit of training legs is that you will also improve in other lifts, such as the bench press, which I'm pretty sure most of my fellas out there, y'all know and love the bench press. The bench press is like the King Kong of the exercises, or maybe you don't really like King Kong. Maybe you're more of a Hulk fan. In that case, the Hulk of all lifts. So the reason that this will help improve your other lifts is because when you train legs, you are also training your core, which is a very important muscle during pretty much every exercise and movement that you do in the gym. Basically, it will help you overall muscle mobility, balance, all of the crucial things to working out. The next benefit of training legs is that you will reduce your risk of injury. Some of the things that cause injuries are muscular imbalances, lacking of mobility, and weak hamstrings. These all can lead to things such as lower back pain or even ACL injuries. The exercises that you do on leg days, squats, lunges, and deadlifts will help you build up your hamstring strength and therefore will help you avoid these injuries. And the final benefits of training legs is that you will burn more calories. Your legs are the biggest muscle in your body. Therefore, when you're training legs, it requires more energy, which causes your body to burn more calories. Let's get into the anatomy lesson of the day. So as you can see, there are a lot of leg muscles like a lot so we're just going to go over them a little briefly the front of your legs are the quadriceps muscles which consist of the rectus femoris vastus intermedius vastus lateralis and vastus medialis and the quadriceps are in charge of knee extension and hip flexion on the back of your legs, we have the hamstrings, which consist of the semimembranosus, the semitendinosus, and the biceps femoris. This muscle is in charge of flexion at the knee joint and extension at the hips. And finally, we have the calf muscle. Well, not finally, but just for the sake of the video, we're going to try to keep it a little bit more brief than discussing, like I said, all of those muscles. So the calf muscles consist of the gastrocnemius and the soleus. And the calf muscles are in charge of plantar flexion at the foot and ankle. All right, fellas, now we're going to get into the leg exercises. So the first leg exercise that I'm sure you all have heard of and probably most of you do not like. I don't blame you. I don't like them either. Let's be real. They are not fun. However, they get your results and they have tons of benefits. This exercise is the squat, the barbell back squat to be specific. Get under that bar like so, take a little step back, unrack that bitch, and you're gonna go down until you hit parallel or a 90 degree bend in the legs. You're gonna keep your core tight. Make sure your legs are going outwards and not caving inwards, cause that is bad. And make sure that your feet are planted on the ground at all times. If your heels are lifting up, that could be a sign of either weakness in the calves, tightness of the calves, or multiple other things. So that is the squat. Like I said, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this exercise in terms of like just doing them because 
they're a bitch <laughs> but i still do them because i'm not a bitch and neither are you the next exercise we have is the deadlift now we either have the conventional deadlift or the sumo deadlift the conventional in my personal opinion works more the back muscles but that's just me a lot of people disagree and say they feel this more in their legs i feel it more in my back however the sumo deadlift I feel a lot in my legs and my hamstrings because the sumo deadlift targets your glutes and hamstrings more than the conventional one does. Walk up to that barbell, make sure your shins are right up against it. Make sure your back is not rounded. You're gonna grab right outside of your little legs there and pull that bitch up here. Keep your chest up the whole time. Keep your shoulder blades retracted. Pick it up and put it back down. Pretty simple, right? The next exercise we have is the hip thrust. And oh my God, I know y'all are looking at me right now like, is this girl crazy? I'm not doing this exercise at the gym. My gym bros are gonna roast me. Well, they may roast you, but they won't have as good of glutes as you do. So what really matters more, right? Now, I really don't wanna make this video about impressing the opposite sex because I, for one, think that you should not live life to validate anybody. Not the opposite sex, not the same sex. You should live life for your own validation. So I would say do this exercise because it builds a booty because, hey, girls like them too. However, don't focus on that because it doesn't matter what the opposite sex thinks of you or what other people think of you in general. It only matters what you think of you, okay? And I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you think, damn, I got a dump truck back there, it's gonna increase your confidence, man, okay? And we all like increased confidence around here. I don't care if you're a girl or a guy. Confidence is key so if you want to be confident do this goddamn hip thrust because nothing says i'm confident more than being a guy doing hip thrust in a public gym because people are gonna look at you crazy and it's like yeah that's right i know you're looking at me crazy i don't give a fuck. at least i got a dumpy though right <laughs> okay anyways so with this exercise especially if you're a dude you're probably gonna want the little bar pad i know trust me i know i don't really like using it but it's a lifesaver man you're gonna make sure your shoulder blades are up against the edge of the bench and you want your heels in line with your knee that way it will activate the glutes the most keep your core tight and look forward slash down the whole time like keep your chin tucked and just push that bitch up push it up like you're you know do i need to make a metaphor i think we all could think of a lot of metaphors for this exercise, am I right? <laughs> Okie dokie. The next guy we have here is the leg press. This is working all your leg muscles, so it is fantastic. When you do this exercise, make sure your lower back is pressed against the bench the whole time. And you're coming down till you hit, once again, that 90 degree bend in your legs. Whatever you do, whatever you freaking do, do not lock out your legs on this exercise, okay? Where scary things could happen. I don't think I need to say what the scary things are. I'm pretty sure most of you can imagine what the scary things are. Am I right? All right. The next one we have is the leg extensions. This is for mainly your quads. Once again, just make sure you're not locking out your knees. And when you do these, it will help if you point your toes up towards the sky, it will help activate your quad muscles more. Next up, we have the straight-legged or stiff-legged deadlift. These are excellent, excellente for the hamstrings. They're very similar to a deadlift. You want to keep your chest up, shoulders back, shoulder blades retracted, and just drag the weights along your legs the whole time. And you should really feel that in your hammies. Depending on your flexibility is how far you will be able to go down with this exercise. Everybody's gonna have a different range of flexibility. So just go down as far as you can until you feel those hamstrings activating. And another thing is make sure you keep a slight bend in the knees. Last but not least, we have the calf raise. I know you guys are like, God damn it, the calf raise, I never do that. I never did either. But guess what, folks? Calves are very important when it comes to other exercises and can definitely increase how much you can lift with other exercises. So I don't really think I need to give much of an explanation for this. Like, you just move your ankle up and down pretty much but make sure you're getting the full range of motion and you're not doing them too quickly otherwise you're not doing it right and you want to do things right right okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video send this to one of your gym bros that needs to hear this don't neglect legs fellas we don't want to be looking like doritos out here if you like this video make sure you give it a like subscribe to join the swole squad comment below the word chicken legs <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's funny. If you would like to support me on Patreon for just $2 a month, the link is in the description. Shout out to all my patrons. I love you guys so much. If you'd like to support me on Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal, link is also in the description. I also have merch, Swole Squad merch. Go get yours today. And I have workout programs on momswole.com, so make sure you go check all that out. I will see you guys in the next one. 
Have a good ass day. Can I do the intro? Can I do the intro? Yeah. Hello, my babies. How to get my weight up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Weight in the cake up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn up in the gym, no, I'm calling mama swole. What? That little shawty, and you know I'm on a roll. Press like an empress. No one to impress, bitch. Find me on the guest list. Got that Louis V necklace. Subscribe to the Mama Soul channel. Even if your name is Randall. Got it lit like a candle. Catch me swerving in the Lambo.